morning. Uh, my name is Judy Funk Lorento. I've kind of ditched the funk now, just Judy Lorento because I'm a retired superintendent uh, that Ann brought to Twin Valley. And it's very hard for me to look out here to see Lisa and Gary because Lisa and Gary and Ann were the people that changed my life. Uh, and Ann, particularly because Gary was pretty busy with work, Lisa, but Ann would come and counsel me and provide support for me in many different ways. And when I think about Ann, I think that she taught me resilience because, man, when it was down and out at times, she always found a way. I remember sitting, as I tell people, my husband and I in the parking lot of the Reading Hospital, crying our eyes out, saying, she can't come back. She can't. She came back better than ever. You know, and as Gary said, she was smart, she was probing, she was challenging to us. She taught me hope. She taught me that sometimes when Ann came to my life, um, I was at a point where I just wasn't sure about a lot of things. And she really guided me and provided support for me in a way like I could never have done, found a person to do. She didn't know me, but she knew me, and that was important to me. Uh, she taught me unconditional love, and she taught me family love. So when I look at this family down here, she invited me into her family. I watched Ashley graduate, Nikki graduate. She was one of those people that wanted to give those diplomas away and hug their children as a school board member. She said it was the one thing that she wanted to be on the board to do for every one of you. She wanted to be there, hug you, provide an education for you. She was very attached to family. I watched Stephen and I had many conversations about Anne, Anne's care. Uh, Lou and I were in the hospital one night when she was telling me how Stephen had left angry at her. And I was like, are you going to call him? Oh, no. He'll be back. He'll be back. And I go, you're kidding. And she goes, no. But she taught me unconditional love, and she and Stephen had that unconditional love. She shared her father with me, who many times I look at, uh, Anne's father and my father and Gary McEwen's father, and I think they're all cut from the same mold. I have the greatest respect for them. So she taught me all those things about unconditional love. She gave me a lot of happy times. Uh, I remember sitting listening to very lively discussions. You're right. She was absolute from the beginning. I had Anne on this side of me and Lisa Jordan on this side of me. And for the people that know Anne and Lisa, they don't get further apart than that. Uh, very liberal, very fixed. They would discuss raising their kids, politics, the board, and I would go, oh my gosh, how do you bring these people together? But they did, and what that taught me was that it is better to have friends who disagree, who make you think, who challenge you. So they taught me a lot of, of things about friendship. She taught me how to get along with people in the community. She introduced me to a lot of the people in the community. I am eternally grateful for her. She will always be in my life, and I have this terrible habit of always thinking about people and finding them in the beauty of nature. And I told Stephen the other day, to me, Anne was the moon. If you think about the moon, she couldn't be the star because she never wanted to be the star. She could never be the sun. It was too bright. She's the person that circles around the center. And when I was superintendent, she was circling around me, supporting me, giving me a lot of love, a lot of advice, some absolute, some not so absolute. And when she was going through her cancers and the car accident, I would think about her dipping below the horizon and wondering if she would be back. And she always came back. She was always bright. And now that she's gone, I think about when the moon sets and daylight starts, and you still have the light of the moonlight, and that is Anne to me. Um, I will always feel her warmth and her grace, and I am eternally grateful to Clyde, and to Stephen, to the family for sharing her with me. Thank you.